so welcome to our YouTube channel. I'm Christina and I'm Jacob. And this is really cringy already. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I just got a notification that a package came, so we're gonna go get it real quick. And unfortunately it didn't come to the door, so we have to go all the way outside. <sighs> Hate that. Hey guys. Oh, don't 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 leave. Uh, don't let the dog out. Oh, it's both. So, of course, a Kylie cosmetic and a secret. Should we take the mail in? Sure. Here, you carry the mail. Is that it? Yep. You Get sure? The mail. That is it. Let's go. Okay, so, I literally ran out of my brow pencil <laughs> like three days ago, but I didn't stop. <laughs> I didn't buy more because I thought Jacob was going to get it for me for Valentine's Day. <laughs> and he didn't get it for me, so it's, it's here now. Whoa. Ooh. It says, good choice. Love these products you picked. This is what she said last time. She loves all of them. Come on, Kylie. Step up your game. Okay, like so. Notes. Yeah. So I got my brow pencils. Thank wow. God. And then look how pretty. Whoa. Look, babe. This one's Whoa. called Perfect Kiss. Look how beautiful that is. Okay. And then this one's called Wish Come True. And I usually don't get these, but look how f***ing pretty these are. And Jacob didn't get me them for Valentine's Day, so I treated myself. Okay, I'm going to put my brow pencil on. Hello. What's up? Is it on there? Yes. Okay. It's a little red. Oh my god, your hair's a mess. Babe, it's a red flashing dot. It means it's thinner. Holy crap. Sorry. I just Because you showered. So nice before. How did you get to look nice earlier? Because it dried. Oh, it dried fine? Yes, babe. Oh, yeah. okay, sorry. Okay, so. You have a gift. Oh, for by me? the way, got my new lip liquid box on. Stop. You have a gift? Not yet. I'm going to explain. So, this is supposed to come on Valentine's Day, but Linda, from I wherever this was made, oh. was not very helpful, and it took Pretty two and a half weeks to get it when they claimed they had quick delivery and processing time. Okay, can I have another? Since I've been waiting for a long time? Yes, you might open. Guess what it is first. Don't read it. Actually, it doesn't say anything. What? I haven't seen it yet, so I'm nervous. Oh my god. What? There's socks on there? Yeah. With your face on there? Oh. Oh. Yes, <laughs> I saw it. Oh my god. That was funny. Okay. Oh. oh, there are multiple pairs. Wow. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. I'm gonna kill Linda. What happened? I'm missing a part of the order. Oh my god, Linda. Oh, these are very cool. Are you gonna wear them? Yes, I was literally just about to put this on. Every day? Yes. I Do you like the different show. faces I use? <laughs> yes. Why is why am I so fat on this one? You pick them. Why'd you get me these colors though? No, like this color, I meant. Um, Valentine's Day. I know, but I okay, can't. Okay, but like I thought you could socks. actually wear these. Definitely. And these. So I'll wear funny. All Do you like them? I'll, I'm switching out my bear shoes for them, so yes. Wait, I'm so glad you like them. Okay, but I'm really pissed that I'm missing part of my order. So that was a big surprise? Yeah. You know what's so funny? What? I was going to get socks with Fluffy on them for you. Oh my god, I would have loved that. You love them, don't you? Yes. I knew you'd wear them too. Like, you like that. <coughs> yeah. I'm just going to put my bear shoes back on. I'm very upset right now with Linda. But do you like Freaking them? Linda. I love them. Wait, I want to, okay. So these are my face like this. These I are, showed all of them. oh you did? Yes. I'm actually like in love with them. Okay, this is funny how this one came out. Yeah, I really like them. Thank you. Mwah. Thank you. Of course. Okay, so now that we did that, I think I showed the letters by accident earlier with the Kylie stuff. So we're also making some letters for our room and oh, we'll yeah, show a little bit of that later. And just a little sneak peek. It was like a sneak peek. Yeah. Like, you gotta look at my TikTok to figure out what we did, but just a sneak peek. Yeah. But since you guys are all new, or if you don't follow my TikTok already, or even if you do, we didn't really tell about our story yet. Yeah, we didn't. So here's a little bit about us. I'm Christina. Babe. 
Oh, I'm Jacob. <laughs> and my boyfriend's from Denmark. If you don't know what Denmark is, it's a European country. It's pretty small, about the size of New Jersey, yeah. which is where I'm from. And we met four years ago when he... I moved to New Jersey for my dad's job. See how he finishes my sentences. Your sandwiches, what? My sandwiches. That's what I was going to say. So he moved here from Denmark, and he started dating... Her best friend. My best friend. While she was dating one of my friends. And then we all broke up. Yeah. And then guess who found who? <laughs> no, but our friends honestly weren't mad. Like, no. you know, it all ended on good terms. And, like, they only dated for, like, two months. And we're all good. And she's amazing. Like, literally amazing. Like, yeah. we still hang out with her. She's awesome. And um, so, yeah. So, you moved here. And we started dating. And uh, about a year and a half after we started dating, I went to Italy. And went a out. year after. A year after? Yeah. Okay. So I went to Italy and I was enjoying my trip and then I get a pop up on Facebook. Saying we'll miss you. We'll miss you. With a picture of me and one of my football friends. Uh-huh. And what what do you think was going through my head, babe? I don't know. But I calmed you down pretty quickly. Yeah, because nobody believes this dude who yeah. who wrote this. So I was like, he's just being weird, who knows what he's talking about. Not an issue. And then she came home. And I came home. I told her that I was moving back to Denmark. Back to Denmark. And not not in a year, not in a... In a month. In a month. So... Not my choice, though. But. No, not his choice, of course. His dad went back for work. So being 16 and 17-year-olds, we broke up. No, we didn't. Just kidding, because that's not what a 16 and 17-year-old couple would do. Nope. We did long distance. And... Which worked out fine, actually. Yeah, it was really hard though. Like we didn't see each other for like three or four months, like at a time, yeah. for two and a half years, and then three and a half years later, Jacob applied for bump and a bum American College, and I got accepted. Got accepted. So now we go to school together, and so our long distance relationship actually worked. I feel like we really believe it or not. Yeah, like we really defied the odds. We really did. <clears throat> I think like fifty percent. Don't even make it past like a year. And then the other 50% like don't even make it. Side note, we thought it'd be really funny. I don't know if any of you guys have seen 90 Day Fiance, but we thought it'd be really funny to be on one of those shows. So we applied and then we actually ended up getting a call back from MTV. So not 90 Day Fiance, but MTV, who was doing like a reality TV show about long distance relationships. So they literally call us, they call us and we're like, oh my God, we got an interview with MTV, what are we gonna do? That was this fall, by the way. That was this fall, right after Jacob came back to America. So we got this call and we like told them about everything. And then like, oh, so how long are you guys gonna be apart for? And we're like, we're together we're right together. now. We're <laughs> together. And they're like, oh, and then we were like, yeah. They said, I think the producers are looking for couples in long distance relationships. Yeah. But we have so much to give, so much to offer, so much experience of this. And the sad part is, he's moving back next year. So this is like a short-lived thing. And of course, when they contact us, we're actually together. Yeah. Like two and a half years. What are the odds? I know. I'm pissed. So that happened. What are you going to do? Yeah, what are you going to do? So we started making TikToks because we were together and we wanted to be like out there and share a story because like... It's pretty cool. Like what we've done is really cool. We've yeah. been through like a lot together, which is like amazing, and we've been so strong throughout it all. And now we're here. Now we're here. Basically. So yeah, our TikTok people were like, make a YouTube, and we were like, a YouTube? Like we never thought about making a YouTube channel. And then we said 10k followers. Yeah, and that came quicker than we thought yeah. it would. We were like, we're never gonna get 10k. Two days later, we got 10k. And now people are really starting to ask about it. So we were like, shit, we got to make a YouTube channel. Seriously. Yeah. So here we are. But our TikToks were about like him being Danish and me trying to speak Danish. So I don't know if this YouTube is going to end up being a lot about that. So I guess we're just going to see what happens. But yeah, this is us. And we hope you subscribe to our channel. Check out our TikTok, Christina and the Dane. Just like this name. Just like this name, exactly like this name. But yeah, so that's a little bit about us and we'll have some fun stuff to come.